Little but mighty! Teacher, teacher! What's up, Ketchup? What is that on your head? It's part of my Halloween costume. Halloween? Where's the ween? It's kind of hot today. <laughs> no, Ketchup! Halloween! It's a holiday where people dress up in costumes. Why do people dress up in costumes at Halloween? Well, a long time ago... Wait, at Halloween? Did you say at Halloween? Uh-huh, at Halloween. I think you meant on Halloween ketchup. Oh, I'm sorry for making that mistake. Hey, is there a spicier word for mistake? Hmm, there is. Blunder. Ooh, I see. Don't worry about your blunder, Ketchup. Mistakes are the perfect opportunity to learn something new. And today, we are going to learn about prepositions of time. Yay! Prepositions! Pepper! No, Ketchup, not prepositions. Prepositions. What are prepositions? Prepositions of time. They are these little words we use to talk about time. They are in, at, and on. Hmm, yes, yes. Ketchup dresses up as a vampire at Halloween. Ketchup dresses up as a vampire on Halloween, Ketchup. It's a specific day. We use on for specific days. Hmm, like Monday and um, Children's Day. Uh -huh. What about my birthday? On your birthday too. But how do I remember how to use all three prepositions of time? Think of it this way. In is big. Whoa. So it refers to long periods of time, like centuries. Decades, years, months, weeks, seasons. We also use it for special times of days where we use the word the, like in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Whoa! So in is for big times. Okay, Ketchup. Tell our friends at home who are watching more about Halloween. Aha! Uh -huh. In the 1920s and 1930s, Halloween became a more community-centered holiday. On 31st October, children dress up in costumes in the evening and go trick or treating. Yup, it wasn't always so. In the 8th century, people put on costumes because they believe that doing so will confuse ghosts and spirits and keep them safe. But in 2000 years, a lot has changed. I understand how to use in and on now. They are for long periods like centuries, decades, years, months, weeks, seasons. And for talking about special times of days where we use the, like in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. I am so impressed. You remember all that? What about at? Think of it this way. If in is really big, then at is really small. It refers to specific times. So, what time do you go to play with Mayo and Pepper? I play with them every day at 4.30 p.m. That's right! At 4.30 p.m. At 4.30 p.m. is referring to a specific time. When else do I use at? Other specific times like at night, at noon, at midnight, at lunchtime, at dinner time, and so on. I get it now. Hey, teacher. What? What does Vampire Ketchup say to his teacher after their lesson? What? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Ketchup. 
What is a witch's favorite makeup? What is it? Mascara. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that fun, teacher? Hi, friends of Vilbert Mighty. Would you like to help catch up with his homework? Click on the link below to download Catch Up's homework. Please help me. Hey, can I have more Halloween jokes after I'm done with my homework, please? I can't think of any more Halloween jokes. Do you guys have more Halloween jokes? Share in the comments below. And see you in the next episode of Catch Up on English. Jokes, 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 jokes. jokes. <laughs>